Hey, welcome back everybody to another episode of Mod Sauce. Well, the last few episodes we were very techy. We did applied energistics, we automated a bunch, we did a ton of ore processing and sorting and everything. And I am still running around in steel armor. Which has been really good to me because, you know, with that advanced enchanting table, it's, it's quite powerful. But it is time that we get some better armor and a few other toys that I would like to do. And I want to get away for one or two episodes from tech. I would like to do a little bit more magic. And there is one mod that I love a lot. And that is blood magic. And that's what I want to get started with today. You guys can probably tell I already did some. The boring grinding in the beginning. Cutting myself as many times as I could stand. And I got the blood altar to tier 2. And I'll show you guys real quick the room I built over a few days. And yeah, you guys can see behind me there that red X with the glowstone. But I'm going to go ahead and run up there now and show you guys the room. There it is. This is the blood magic room. Let me turn off the night vision for a second so you get a better feel of what I've been trying to go to. You know, dark and spooky and we got the blood going again and the uh, nether flesh. The floor turned out really good, I think. I'm really pleased with the floor. It gives it a lot of texture, you know. It really feels like there's bumps everywhere. Let me turn on the night vision again so it's better to see. The ceiling also has flesh, which I think is awesome because you get this tripping effect. And little soul sand, mostly netherrack. I did want to use netherrack from the beginning. And actually war power turned me on to these blocks of ruby. I, I never played with them and we got so much ruby we're not using for anything. And I think they go really well with this room. It's a very nice red. And these, this side room and the side room over there. Um... I just built, I didn't really go for uh, dimensions and stuff. I hope they're going to be big enough. But I want them to be for rituals and um, possibly demon summoning. Um, you know, all those things that you need the extra room for besides the altar. And the altar is completely laid out. And I even have the iron blocks in here already for the beacons when we get to it. Um, and I hope that you guys are familiar with the layout of and how you build a uh, blood altar or the whole structure here. And if not, I'm going to add a link in the description about a tutorial that I learned blood magic with and that I still refer to. Uh, if I cannot recall something and so on. The layout by now I kind of know by heart because I built so many blood altars over the past year and so. But anyway, so we got the blood altar. And right now it actually has a full 10,000 LP. And you guys see it's a tier 2 because I added these 8 blood runes. I spent, uh, I don't know how long it took. It took maybe 30 minutes to get all the slates um, to make this divination sigil. And also these 8 runes. And of course first I made the weak blood orb. If you guys don't know that, you dump a diamond in here with I think 1,000 LP. No, 2,000 and then you put, once you get to tier 2, you put an emerald in here with, uh, let me guess, 5,000, I think. Yep, I was right. Good. 5,000 LP. And I didn't want to record before we get to the stage because, well, you just stand here and cut yourself with the knife. You just have this in your hand and, ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> and then you wait to regen. Of course, I made a bunch of regen potions and I had a bunch from... Um, um, those weird ones that give you regen and hunger and weakness and mining fatigue, but it gave me free regen, so I used those potions. But now I was able to make the Dagger of Sacrifice, which is just an iron sword with 3000 LP, but you need to have it at tier 2. And now what we can do is get mobs to come here for us, and when they stand on here, we can kill them with that knife, so we don't have any more downtime waiting for our life to regen. And what I want to use for that is an auto spawner because we got, you know, so much uh, mob essence and a villager spawner. So we're going to sacrifice villagers here because they give you the highest return on LP. They give you, I believe, 2,000, 1,500 or 2,000. I don't recall exactly, but a lot without any runes of sacrifice. Once you get those, it's incredible. Yeah, I forgot to mention, this up here is all the, the fluid display with blood in it. I think it's very fitting, and this up here is uh, 
chiseled redstone blocks from the chisel mod. They're supposed to be skulls. It's a little hard, like this, you can see them, the skulls. Anyways, so I brought the dark glass. We don't really care with the auto spawner that it's dark, but I just think it looks better with the dark glass to have it here. So all I'm going to do here now is make a little platform and then place the auto spawner with uh, the tesseract on it and then have a little channel going down the middle. I think I'm going to use... I don't want to use blood because I think that these villages... What, what kind of damage do you take with blood? Um, poison 2 for a few seconds. I don't want to have that. I, I don't want them to die, but it would look cool up here. We might try it with the blood just to see what it looks like um, to wash them down. Otherwise, we use... Did I just take more damage? What? Otherwise, we use um, just water or... Yeah, water. I don't want to mess with conveyor belts, honestly. Um, they're not going to fit very nicely in this room. But I'll be back when this is set up and we can start killing some of these villagers. So I figured I'm going to take this time here to show you guys how I actually got that blood that I've been using. Because it's not easy. Um, I've been using these pigs here because they're just the fastest and easiest to put uh, in the smeltery for me. And yep, it's off again. So now we got a bunch of blood in here, more than enough. And then what I do is, you have to put this into a portable tank. And I'll show you guys in one second why. It's it's kind of funky. The, man, that's a lot of pig I got here. Excuse me. I'm right, just waiting for this. Actually, no, I can show you. If I would take this blood out now um, with a bucket, you guys see it turns into a bucket of blood from Mariculture. Okay, which doesn't look as good. And I'll show you guys here. This is what it looks like, you know, very matte. And it doesn't have the shiny to it. And now I picked it up again. Now check it out. Now it turned into a bucket of life. And that looks the same color. And, and now it stays a bucket of life. And maybe I can click this tank again. No. So I, it's, I already have a few of these. Uh, well, one, and I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Now I'm going to get another bucket out, because we're going to need four. So now that this tank is full, you can take it. And you need to put it into a fluid transposer. And have that fill itself with that blood. Um, Alright, that's good enough. We only need two buckets. And then you set this to fill the buckets. And now we have the Tinker's Construct. A bucket of blood and then what I'm gonna do is empty this again because this is actually the one for redstone so all right I don't want to carry this around with me so I'm just gonna put it back over here and that's good enough and let's up I can use this is faster so I put the platform here and well I put water first but the blue was just I didn't like it so I want to test it with this blood and I think that they're going to flow down fast enough so they're not going to die until I hit them. And I put a glowstone nook there. I didn't want to put a sign so it looks better. And I think this is going to look really sharp. Let's see. Alright, so now that is all going to flow into the middle and then they should fall in. And I, you know, put the tesseract setting to receive fluid and energy. And that's coming from... The mob essence is coming in here, so this is filled, and I put in the villager safari net, and I hooked up a wireless lever to it, so now it's powered the lever, so now the thing is off, but as soon as we turn it, I disable the lever, they should spawn in a few seconds, and I noticed that when I use this with, like, wither scale, mm -mm. uh oh, I see a problem, I gotta make this platform bigger. Really? You, you're not gonna float? You're kidding me, right? Is he gonna survive? What am I stuck on? What is this madness? I think that's just a glitch. I think he's actually there, let's see. No, he's not. 
Hey, mister. Hmm. He's not losing any life. I don't know if we just... Excuse me. You spawned outside. Alright, I gotta make this platform bigger. And... Yep, I'm gonna do that real quick. And then we'll try it again. Alright, change of plans. I did go with the conveyor belts now. Because I was having problems with these fluids. I can't believe I'm still not big enough on this cage here but it's fine i know it's a nine by nine area but i've built them this um smaller before and but it's fine we're only gonna have this for two tiers and once we get to the tier where we can make the well of suffering then i don't care anymore then this comes down because we're gonna have witches underground i don't want to have this platform here you know and take up all the view in this room but now i got tons of these villagers and what I can do now is get to the next tier by using this dagger of sacrifice and I can use and I should say make a lot of the slates and I figured that I'm gonna uh, automate it via input and output because if you do it manually you can only put one in at a time so you put in one stone wait for it to turn into a slate and then you got to take that out and put it in the next stone. If you pipe in stone, you can put a stack or multiple stacks at a time if you want. And as long as you have an output that is set up with a filter to only put out slate, pull out the blank slates instead of the stone, you know, it's, it's much more convenient. You just stand here and wait and, you know, watch a YouTube video or something and you got a stack of slates in no time. So um, let me see here. What filters do we have? I guess I'm just going to use extra utilities to pump in and out. I think that's the easiest. So let me get two no nodes. Node. Let me get two of these. And I'm not even going to bother with a chest right now. Just going to put this guy there. A note coming in. Pulling, going in and a note coming out. I don't need this guy right now. But I think we can make it look better when it comes from down here, like that. I think that's, that works perfect. And then over here, all we got to do is set up a filter. I'm having FPS issues right now. Sorry about that. Uh, blank slate. So it only pulls out blank slates. And we put that filter in here. And now if I... Let me get a stack upgrade just so it actually puts them all in at once. Put the stack upgrade in there, and now if I put a stack in there, bam, the whole thing is in here. And now all I gotta do is stand here and hit them with the Dagger of Sacrifice. Um, check every once in a while with um, the Divination Sigil, how far we're going down. Let's just see here. 8,000, 7,900. Let's kill one of these guys, and back to... So we get 2,000 per villager. So that is just amazing. It's it's to me the best way to go about this until you actually have a well of sacrificing. So I'm gonna stand here and make enough slates so we can upgrade the altar to the next tier. Okay, even with the automation with the input and output, it takes a very long time now to I made 60 40 blank slates and it took over 15 minutes at least so i figured you know these villagers spawn very fast and they give us 2000 lp a piece i'm gonna just i took out the eight blood runes and i'm gonna make eight speed runes right now and um we're gonna try that out if i can keep up with the lp supply but i think i can it should work out but if it does um then this is gonna make it incredibly fast for me to make all these other runes because for the runes of sacrifice I need the reinforced slates which means you gotta put them through twice um, with 2000 LP first and 1000 so every rune, every slate take 3000 LP and but now the thing should be very fast um, okay so we're almost full and I'm gonna put in let me get a whole stack of stone. Um, by the way, I did put a stack upgrade over here so it pulls out the whole stack at once instead of 
um, this one here didn't get pulled out fast enough and it turned into a reinforced slate. Now I'm actually going to change this to be a reinforced slate now. So when I put in a st stack of stones, it's not going to pull them out until they're reinforced. So I'm going to turn this on now just to make sure we have enough um, ready to go. And let's put in a stack and see how much faster that is going to be. Let's see how fast it goes down. What's happening? It's in there. Oh, I got to put the filter in. Da -da. <laughs> All right, it's in there. Uh, okay, I guess it just took a second. Hmm, doesn't go down that fast. Ah, easily I can keep up with that. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys that I upgraded these, and I'm going to keep going until I got the 5, 10, 20 of these uh, runes of sacrifice. I remember these speed upgrades, or these speed runes, doing a lot more... Um, then it feels like they're doing right now. It, it it still took ages to make 64 of these reinforced slates. I know we don't need them all, but um, here's the... Oh, there's only 10. I need 20. So now we got our 20 runes to make the next tier. And what does it take to make this guy? I think a block of gold. Okay. Block of gold real quick. Take that with us. And upgrade it. The pillars over here on the side are already done. Um, it just needs to be three high. And the top block always needs to be a glowstone. This one right there. In case you guys didn't know that. So once we got these 20 runes in there, it's going to be a tier three. Okay. And I'm kind of hoping, I don't remember if that has anything to do with the tier of the altar, how much these speed upgrades are influencing it. I kind of think they won't, but it would be kind of nice. Otherwise, it's quite possible that I'm going to make another eight speed runes and change out some of these sacrifices. But we'll see here. Let's make this orb first. Got 3300. Let's kill. I've been looking at a lot of these villager trades, by the way, and I have you guys check here safari. I bought 14 safari nets with emeralds, 11 in here, and whoops, and I got three with me in the bag now. Oh, I gotta be on top of that. Sorry, Mr. Alter. Wow, now we get a lot more per kill. You guys saw that? 4,000? One kill? 10,000? What? I killed one guy? And it went from 4,000? No. Really? I gotta test this real quick. Let's empty this altar real quick. So it's at zero and we're gonna kill one guy. Wow. That would be incredible. Hurry up. Come on. Suck it dry. There we go. So now the altar is at zero. One kill. 6,000 LP for one kill? Holy shnikes. I can definitely add speed upgrades. All right. So now we need two, four, six, seven, twenty-eight 28 runes. Okay. Um... 28 we can make another 10 sacrifice right now um hmm okay i'll tell you what guys i am gonna replace eight of these runes of sacrifice with speed runes and then i make enough slates for the other tier and then i'll show you guys when we upgrade that one check it out guys i've been a busy bee i made the runes all the runes we need for every single tier. I was in a groove. Um, you guys see I added more speed upgrades here. So now we got 3, 6, 9, 12, 20 speed runes. And of course these down here don't count yet. I just placed them there to make sure that I made enough. Um, and while right now these runes of sacrifice are absolute overkill with the villagers. Um, 
they're going to come in really handy with the Well of Sacrifice. But now, in order for us to upgrade this altar to the next tier, to tier 4, we need these, um, what are they called? Blood, blood something here. Large bloodstone bricks. We need one of each. And to make that, we need these weak blood shards, which you get by killing mobs with the Blount Blade. And in order to make the Bound Blade, we need to set up our first ritual. So, I get all the items together to make this Ritual Diviner. That's the first thing. Well, that's what you need to set it up to what uh, ritual you want to make. And then you can build it with these Ritual Stone and a Master Ritual Stone. But let's make this first. I already made these uh, inscription tools. That's just, uh, what is it again? Uh, gas tier. Uh, obsidian, uh, magma cream, and a block of lapis. So that was very easy to make. And I added these crafting tables here. They're nice. I made out of that blood wood. They fit perfect. So let's make this guy here. Oh, of course, it doesn't worky worky. But I believe I have everything. Red, green, and the last one. Cool. And we also need to make the ritual stones. So that's obsidian in each corner. And then this guy. And in the middle, does this one work? Yes, it works. Now let me just double check that we don't need any slates for this. So I'm just going to make a stack for now of these. That should be enough to get us started. And let's also make this guy that's for obsidian. And for these. And do you work? Nope. We probably need this guy now. Yes. Cool. So, and I excavated an area over here. In this area, I'm going to turn on night vision so it's easier to see on camera. And I believe that this ritual is a 9x9. Nine nine. So, I'm going to put this master ritual stone right here. And now click through to get the ritual of binding that's the one we need and that's gonna we need 8 12 16 28 at uh, 24 so let's stand on top of this and just fire away all right it seems to be done there's our ritual oh that looks cool with this texture pack i like it yep so nine by nine and i put it down one in the floor because I'm going to you know, fill this up here with this abyssal stone here real quick and fill it with lava and then put a lava source block on top here. Because when you do these rituals, well, there's going to be lightning, first of all, but that's not the problem. But if you have a block on the floor on fire and that uh, blade f uh, comes out after the ritual, it can burn up and you lose it. So I'm just going to prepare this real quick and then we do the sword ritual and go get us some weak blood shards. In order for us to actually activate that ritual here in a minute, we need to make a weak activation crystal, which we need one of these lava crystals for. And then we need to put this into the altar now with 10,000 LP, which is no problem. Where is my sword? And let me just see here real quick. I want to see it now after I didn't test it since um, putting the extra blood runes. We still get 3600 LP. So that's really good. All right, let's make this guy real quick. Look how fast this is sucking it, Trina. It's already done. <laughs> All right, cool. So, do I need to bind this to me first? Yes, I did right click it and it's bound to me. So now we can act that we should get a particle effect. Yes, cool. And, of course, I forgot to... Do I have a diamond sword? No. Let's get two diamonds and some sticks. And make this real quick. Bada bing, bada bing. And, of course, I gotta put the magnet away. And now stand back and be careful. Whoa! What is this? That must be new. I've never seen that. That looks awesome. Man, blood magic is so amazing. 
that um whatever the circle is oh it shows you the symbols let me scoop up that water there real quick so we can see it better so that's the i i don't know the name of the star here but there's a sword a gear uh, a worm or a lightning a pick and a shovel there's no x on here hmm anyway let's make this get sidetracked but that looks cool all right bada bing ow 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 that is so cool i i love it all right let's get the magnet out so it sucks it up there it is yay all right now where are we gonna go to kill stuff so I decided not to go with the Wither Skellies. Um, I do have this cleaver here that I made that I was waiting to show you guys um, in a future episode because I have a plan for that and it has 100% beheading. So I did farm a bunch of Withers down here but I recently removed that because I needed the auto spawner for something else. And I didn't want to set this up again so I figured you know what I'm just going to set up the tier 5 zombie thing here real quick, the zombie shard. Because right now we only need one of these blood shards. So I'd say we go ahead and get that and then we can figure out how we get more. I have 56, uh, 46,000 LP. Okay. I can turn in the sword. I'm going to just spawn a few. And... What? Aha. It's in a different chunk. Um, these wireless levers need to be in the same chunk than what they are um, targeting. So I'm hoping this is in the same chunk, yes. Otherwise, they can actually even cause server crashes. This doesn't want to work at all. It's working on the Enderman, right? Maybe there's too many mobs in the area? Hmm, try a regular lever, just to make sure. Get rid of this guy. No? Hmm, don't know what the deal is. Alright, 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 I gotta turn this off first. <laughs> Look at the amount! Look at that! They all want a piece of me. Alright, give me your heads. I gotta enchant the sword. Ah, we got one already. Sweet. I think you can enchant this sword. Yeah. I want to get uh, sharpness and looting on it so it does more damage. But I'll do that later on. It's not really important right now. So we got four of them. That's more than enough. Let's go ahead and make... Um, it's this one. Let's make this bloodstone. Let's just make both stones. But oh, one stack is good enough. All right. And let's go down and... Oops. Where is it? Where is it? Is it this? No. Which one is it? That one. <laughs> I wish you could color them. You know, so you could make this one... You know, you could apply a dye to it. So you actually have it easier to identify which one is which. You know, when they're all aligned like that, it's kind of hard. But, okay. Now if I leaf doing this right all i gotta do is put these four on there and we should have a tier four come on come on come on yes tier four sweet and guess what right away we're gonna upgrade it to tier five i have the beacons waiting for a long time now we killed a bunch of withers and um i think we did 12 or 16 withers one night together and everybody got a few beacons and so on and i have that set up so uh, all the way on the top there's a piece of glass so i think that when i set up this beacon yes it works cool and these are chiseled iron blocks i think they look better than the regular iron blocks we're not messing around half an hour episode and we're getting all the way to tier five in this spiffy come on turn on do it yes 
Oh, love it. Can't wait to tear this back down so this room looks even better. And tier 5, yay! Okay, now, why did I want to get to tier 5? Well, just so we are at tier 5, we don't need to worry about this anymore. But now, we can make the next two blood orbs. Well, actually one. The other one, we gotta summon a demon first. I don't know if we're gonna have time for this in this episode. But we can make the master blood orb, which is a ooh, weak blood shard. I'm glad it didn't let me, when I shift clicked... It only gave me one stack. Why do I have a carrot? Oh, that must be from the zombies. Okay. Okay, let's make this shard here real quick. That should be super fast. Bam. And I'm just gonna spawn a few more. Just to make sure. I mean, look how fast this is sucking it down. Unbelievable. These speed upgrades are awesome. There it is. Sweet. So for now, this is the biggest one we can make. I'm going to activate it and put it back in here for now. So it keeps sucking up whatever blood we have. Uh, we're back at 56, 57,000. All right. Now, the next thing is I want to work on is I would like to, like I said, make this armor today. In order to make that, I need to make the soul armor forge. Easy to make. Um, and then I need to make a ton of these filled sockets. And all that is, put the filled socket into the blood altar. We actually didn't only need a tier 3. I thought that we needed tier 4. But um, I need to grind more blood shards, then make a bunch of these. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go back down to the zombies after I enchant the sword. And I'm just going to go ahead and kill a ton of them until I have a stack or so of these shards. After many, many hours. <laughs> Of slaying mobs to get all the required blood shards. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute how I did that. I am making the last sigil, even though we cannot put this on the armor, but I figured, you know, in this episode I wanna get the armor done. And all the sigils I wanna get done. At least to start with. Um, so here, now I'm making the sigil of elemental affinity, so we cannot drown anymore or take fire damage when required. And I also made a sigil of haste, but I am not going to put that on the armor um, when I make it because I personally don't like it always on. Um, so I usually toggle that on or off whenever needed because especially in the base here, you know, where everything is so narrow with the corners, um, you know, I run into a lot of stuff. This, this uh, sigil is very fast and I also don't like it for recording purposes. So, um, before we make the armor now, I'm going to put some of these away. And that's why I made the sigil of holding. Now, these two right here, the lava and the water sigil, I just made them so I have them. Um, so, if I ever need lava somewhere or water, I can just pull these out of my bag. Um, I know we have this ender bucket with water and so on, but it's nice. This is infinite and so on. So I'm going to take this divination sigil I want in the first slot. And then the second one, the sigil of haste. And then the third one, the sigil of elemental affinity. So now when I take this and just right click the sigil of holding. Or do I need to shift right click? Yes. So now it sucked them all up. And you see here, slot zero, divination. One, sigil of haste. And two, sigil uh, elemental affinity. So now it's on this one but I also don't have this on all the time you know when I go somewhere where I know like if I go to the nether or something I'll turn it on um, but this one here is the haste and I mean look how fast you are this is without sprint and this is really not good for um, recording I mean you, we fly 90 miles an hour look at this already flying to the first things <laughs> and take damage so I got those sigils done I'm really happy about that because it's gonna make it nice for exploring and let me turn on night vision and I made this soul armor forge oh before I make the armor now I wanted to show you guys where is it how I made it okay so I this room was already here but I never really finished it I actually had to make it one wider on each side that's why it's a little crammed here now but it doesn't matter and then over here, 
I set up six auto spawners. I wanted to have six in here anyway. I'm pretty sure we cannot spawn ghasts anymore, but we'll just make a different room for that. I still have 80 gas tiers, so we won't need any soon. And I also don't have any grinders right now because these guys all have a wither skeleton in them. Um, I told you guys before that I've been farming wither skeleton heads um, down here because you know for those beacons and I dropped off beacons in other people's houses as a present and well I also have another plan because I want to make the imboot tool um, we'll see when we'll make that and I also want to make those uh, overpowered swords that you can make with this so now I spawn six wither skeletons at once and let me turn those off again and that's how I farmed them with this sword over here um, I first had tier 5 pig spawner in here, and I don't know how we got those 4 shards earlier so quick. I had a terrible rate. I killed... I have so much pork, it's not even funny. And then I played around with higher tier mobs, and it seems that the higher the mob, the tier of the mobs is, the higher your chance is to get that um, blood shard off them. Now... I don't have any proof of that. I didn't do any long-term testing and writing it down, but it just feels that way. But I also wanted to show you guys real quick. I made this cleaver a while ago. It's an all-paper cleaver, and it has beheading 8 on it. So I went... I put in every possible modifier on it with the beheading. So we have a chance to behead 100% which I wanted to show you guys real quick. So there's six of these Wither Skeletons now. It only does eight damage, but well, it's fine because we're gonna get six Wither Skeleton heads here. So that means that three Nether Stars. What? Um, was there only five? Maybe I turned it off too early or something. But yeah, this usually works. <laughs> anyway, okay. Let me just get rid of this stuff here now. And I also don't need this stuff anymore. And this guy, I just need this. And we can also drop this off. All right, now let's go back up there. Oh yeah, and over here, once I have a grinder and stuff, I added these drawbridges here so I can close this glass from the left and to the right. But it's really neat because these little skeletons are two and a half blocks tall, so they cannot come out. And, you know, you can slaughter them over here pretty nicely. Oops, wrong one. Uh telling you, I need this color-coded. <laughs> Alright, but now let's make ourselves some armor. So, I made this soul armor forge and put it over here on the wall. And in case you haven't ever done that, it's very easy. Let's make the helmet first. Now, I'm going to show you guys that if you want to put a sigil on this armor, you would put in, right-click this block here in the middle with a blood shard. And then you can add one sigil. And then it, when you right click this with an empty hand, it's gonna, I can show you real quick here, it made the helmet. Now you guys see we have the helmet. Now, if you put in just the sigil and the blood shard and then you do it, then you get the effect, let's say, the sigil of air. So you don't take any fall damage. But it will cost you LP. If you apply, if you right click it with a master blood orb, so you put one in there, then it does not cost you any LP anymore. Um, and if you want to have more than one sigil on it, you can put a demon shard on there together with a master blood orb, and then you can have two or three sigils in it, however many you want. So that's how you make it, but I don't think we need anything there right now. And I figured that I got these wrong. They probably need to be up here. There's our boots. And... Make the, you guys see this? This is just like in a crafting table. I just made it too higher because the legs need to go up top. And the chest needs to be down here. So that way I don't need to move the soul armor forge. And here is our chest. Bam! Now we got them all four. So now we can get rid of this. No more night vision, which I need to think about. And look how 
badass we look. Look at the new skin that they made for this. With these claws and you just look like a samurai. And you know, I thought that was perfect. I, ah, oh, it looks so awesome. I love it. Mmm. And of course it is, uh, and we're actually going to try this out real quick. Um, where can I take a beating real quick? Well, I figured the nether is as good a place as any. And you, just to make sure that you guys see that I have 360,000 LP in the network. And what is it with these creepers everywhere? Alright, I'm going to find me a few pigmen. And... No, I don't have any night vision potions. I hope you guys can see okay. Uh, let me find some pigmen here real quick. Somewhere? Anybody? Hello? Alright, there's some baddies right here. So many of these creepers. Alright, let's see if they can do any damage to me. They do. I still take half a heart. Well, that is certainly changed compared to how the blood armor used to be. I am not happy about that. Because that means that the only armor that really much um, makes you... I have them all on. Makes you pretty much invincible now is that flux infused. Um, everybody else on the server has that one, but I... You know, I wanted to go a different route. Otherwise, what do we have multiple mods for? That's how I'm seeing. But we're soon going to update to 1.0.1.0. Within the next one or two days, I'm going to apply the update on the server. And then we'll see if the armor was changed or... I'm pretty sure I did it right. I mean, all you need... Well, you know what? Let's right-click it. Did it say current owner? Well, they all say current owner me. So it should, it should work. But again, nobody looks as bad as me. I mean, I look awesome. Look at this. Oh yeah. Um, okay, um, be back in a minute. This is all the time we got for this episode. We're already past 40 minutes. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I did some research on the blood armor. And apparently in one of the recent updates to the mod... The armor got nerfed a little bit. It only um, absorbs 90% instead of 100% of the damage now. But that is still very good. Uh, much better than most other armor that are available to us. And once we go to the really hard stuff like some of the Twilight Forest or, or um, uh, the Moon and Mars dungeons and so on. Then maybe we'll get a few more armor sets done. I still want to get the Flux Infused eventually. I want to get the Terra Steel also from Botania, and so on. And I updated to the latest version of Mod Sauce. Um, yesterday, um, it is now running version 1010. You guys see my skull candles are gone. Um, the Greystone mod was removed, which is okay, because it was very server intense when it comes to processing power that it needed. So I'm just going to put up regular with the skeleton skulls or whatever skulls we find, maybe player skulls. <laughs> we got lots of other players' heads. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, and, well, talk to you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.